Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create a good content with universal value across mediums. In simple way, we can say that when design combines with development, we get a good content. So let us see how a good content can be created using a model called the Addy model. Addy is one of the oldest instructional design models which is used by the instructional designers in any sector be it education or corporate. This model helps the content developers to create lessons in a systematic and organized manner. Addy model represents five essential phases that are involved in the content development process and these phases denote Analyze, Design, Development, Implementation and Evaluation. Let us now look at each of these phases in details. The first phase of the ADI model is the Analysis phase. As content developers, we first of all need to analyze our learners. For this, we may need to do a research for the demographics that is we need to ask questions like what age group is our learners what is their educational background what kind of language proficiency do the learners have and how compatible are they with the use of technology next we may need to learn about the environment in which the learners are likely to take up the courses for that we need to find answers to the questions like from where the learners will access the course. Will the learners access the course from their home or will they take up the course while they are in an outside environment? In most of the cases, the environment has interruptions. So the questions may be like, does the environment have noise? Will the noise disturb the learner? Then what time of the day the courses are likely to be taken. At the time of finding answers to these questions, we will also have to know the knowledge level of the learners. For that, we will need to ask questions like, what level of knowledge do the learners already have? Will they find it difficult to understand the information? Will they find it difficult to apply these informations in the practical scenario? Then, we have to know about the motivation level of the learners. For that, we need to ask questions like, how receptive are the learners to the topic for which the contents have been developed? Are they really motivated to take up the topic or is it just for the purpose of mandatory formalities? And finally, we have to find out, is there anybody in the target audience with learning disabilities? Knowing our audience in the best possible way can help us to take proper decisions regarding say formats to be used, presentation techniques, structure of content and evaluation pattern. So after proper analysis of the target group comes the second phase on the ADI model that is the design phase. This is the planning phase that helps us to make important decisions such as whether or not the content is needed and if needed, what is to be taught and what's the best way to teach it. In this stage, we as content creators will also have to create a roadmap of what actually our goal is and how we plan to get there. If the design phase is conducted and documented properly, anybody who wish to develop a content can pick up the roadmap and go ahead with the content development. In the design phase, we also have to find out the important aspects of the content that we wish to develop. And what are these important aspects? Let's find out. First of all, we have to decide the length of the course. That is, how many hours we want to design the course for. After the length is finalized, it will then determine the scope of the content. That is, which are the topics 
that are to be included in the content and which are to be left. Then what will be the pace of the content? Will it be a self paced one where the learners will get to choose what to complete and when to complete or whether we would determine the pace for the learners? Say for example what time of the day the learners are to access the course what is the limit of the content that the learners are to complete per day and so on. After that, we will have to find out what are the prerequisites. That is, what is our expectation regarding the knowledge, skills and abilities that the learners should possess for taking up the course. And after determining all these aspects, we will have to translate the content rules into measurable learning objectives. That is, we have to make it assured that the design roadmap is specific, measurable, accepted, reasonable and time bound. Then comes the content structure and sequence. That is, in which way and what structure we want to design our content. We can begin to organize our content by deciding an order and flow of the material. We can also choose some organizational principles for the sequencing. For example, simple to complex, high priority to low priority, general to specific or in the order of how a job proceeds in the real world. We can also create high level flow charts of topics either in the form of content outline or through a storyboard. Here we have to keep this in mind that at this stage we are not writing the content but only outlining the courses, modules, lessons and topics. Next we have to design the instructional strategies as well. Now what it is? Instructional strategies are basically to determine what is the best way to present our information to the learners, how the learners will practice those informations in real world and it also allows for assessing the learners performance. So now let us see some of the commonly used examples of instructional strategies. This may be video presentations, audio presentations question and answers, on the job trainings, text narratives, lectures, exploratory activities, demonstration, discussion, self-directed research, group activities, assignments and simulations etc. Finally, at the end of the design phase, we can also create a template to make the whole process more effective in addition to saving our time. Now application of design must happen at all levels of the content development. Let me try to explain this through a simple example. So if we take a design of content pyramid where the curriculum is at the topmost level, it is always found to be consisting of a collection of courses related to a subject. The course is again made up of a cluster of small components called lessons. The lessons are in turn cluster of topics which are organized to accomplish the broad as well as specific learning objectives. And finally, at the bottom of the content pyramid, there is an activity which is meant to either practice or test the effectiveness of the content that has been developed. And it is important to note that throughout the entire level of this content pyramid right from the curriculum to the activity level, design must be incorporated invariably. After the design phase comes the phase of development. This phase primarily involves four main activities. The first activity is the writing or creating the content. It is about once the course has been designed, how do we plan to implement those ideas in every section of our content. So from where should we start then? Often 
a good place to start the content creation is by picking up the course outline or the storyboard which was designed at the earlier phase and then working with the learning object that is the very specific item of knowledge that accomplishes a single learning objective the learning object can include exercises and tests which will prove whether the learner has learned the content or not thus making it a self contained unit of learning there are also some thumb rules which we have to keep in mind while developing a content they are sticking to the learning objective firmly that is those points which doesn't accomplish the learning objective should be discarded straight away then the content should be clear concise and personal that is the content should be written in such a way as if we are talking to one individual and not to an anonymous group for that the content has to be such that the target learner can understand it easily without anybody others help then the visual appearance of the content should have a good consistency so that the content appears attractive to the learners the content should be multimodal also that is use of different media like text and visuals to make the content more effective next we should try to divide the content into several small chunks of information under appropriate headings this helps the learners to increase their retention and also helps them to access the information easily and finally we should try to include practice and evaluation segment in our content which will help the learners to repeat and revise the content after writing or creating the content the next main objective of the development phase is assembling and sequencing all chunks of the content after that the next objective will be proofreading multiple times they make necessary corrections wherever needed and at least one final self review before publishing the content so these are the activities that are generally done during the developmental stage the next stage of the ad model is the implementation stage in this stage the content creator is expected to do a certain activities like intimating the target learners about the course that has already been developed and preparing the target learners to use the content like say if the learners are facing any kind of problem regarding the use of technology or assessing the content the content creator can go for a little bit of hand holding wherever required then finally comes the evaluation stage evaluation is the most important stage of the ad model to check the fruitfulness of the content for that the content creator may find out how the learners react to his content then by determining whether or not the learners have learned the things that they are supposed to learn if the content has changed the behavior of the learners and finally by determining whether or not the learners have achieved the result that they are supposed to achieve after going through the content so with this presentation we have seen that when developing a good content has become an utmost need of the 21st century the ari model helps us to create such contents in a systematic and organized way hope you all have liked the video please let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel infobits and hit the bell icon for more updates